What's up guys, I'm James. Welcome back to the Great Gambino channel. This video is going to be a short cutout from one of the longer videos I did doing my full review of the Quest 3. This one in particular is going to cover full setup of the Quest 3, as well as some pretty cool tips and tricks I've learned. If you do wanna watch the entire full version of the video, I will have a link down below in the description. One of the first things a headset will do is prompt you to set up your room scale boundary, and it has been greatly advanced from previous headset versions like Quest 2. You can now simply look around the room and the headset measures space and works around the objects. It will lay out the largest possible guardian. It's very simple and graphically impressive to look at as you spin around and watch it extend out and scale the room. If you would like to create the boundary system manually, you will still have the older boundary setup available. When firing up a mixed reality application, the boundary setup is even more exciting as it now will create geometry for not only the floor, but also the walls, ceilings, and any other dimensional object that you look at with the headset. Sometimes you have to stare at an area a little longer, but eventually the software will catch up and map out that section of the room. Taking the extra time to do this is super important because when you play these games, the characters and objects that come into your environment will have a much more realistic reaction to your surroundings. Another pretty cool thing about this headset is that when you are in your traditional meta home screen, one thing you can do is double tap the headset with your finger to reveal the actual environment putting you into a mixed reality version of meta home. This is how I prefer to use my Quest 3. Just like with previous headsets, you have the option to use the provided controllers or your actual hands to navigate menus and other various applications. One little trick you can do if you want to switch between them is by tapping the two touch controllers together which will shuffle the control option to your tracked hands. You now have the ability to grab things with your hands or pinch your fingers together to create a mouse-like cursor that will let you browse through things. You can combo this with actually pushing and pressing buttons to select apps. If you want to connect to your gaming PC via AirLink, it's pretty simple to do. Simply click the quick settings on the left side of your taskbar. Then you are going to select Quest Link. You want to click and turn on Use AirLink. It will now search for any PC connected to your Wi-Fi. Once you see the correct computer, select it and then click Pair. It's going to give you a confirmation code on your PC screen that you will have to accept. Back in the headset, you will click Continue, then Launch. Now it will load you into the Meta PC VR home screen. From here, you can select anything you have on your gaming PC through the Oculus app. Let's fire up Boneworks. As you can see here, it runs smoothly with all of the added graphical bells and whistles you get with a high-end gaming PC. This is a great option to open up a much larger library of games for you to choose from. Getting back to setup options, if you are someone who likes to record gameplay for YouTube or TikTok, it's pretty easy to do nowadays by selecting the camera tool at the bottom of the taskbar and then simply pressing record. If you go into your settings, there are many options for the camera now. You can choose to increase the frame rate at which it records, change the aspect ratio, decide whether it records the left or right eye, and you can even add video stabilization to reduce the shaky cam effect from recording VR footage. All right, that's gonna wrap up this short little clip. Again, if you wanna see the full version of the review, that link's down below in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.